Welcome back to the show. Uh, that commercial reminded me I got to chiro- I got to make sure I have my chiro- chiropractic appointment set up. Uh, we are joined by Jeremy Morgato. He is a seasoned professional, and he probably has a chiropractor. I'm guessing, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay great. He's also a dedicated husband, father uh, to seven in a blended family, a visionary leader in construction and real estate. His partnership with Kaylin Morgato extends beyond home, fueling their personal their personal and professional lives. Um, with 25 years of experience, Jeremy excels in identifying market opportunities and fostering growth. Leading three diverse companies, he's committed to innovation, quality, and exceeding customer expectations. Join us as we delve into Jeremy's extraordinary journey, family, and entrepreneurship. Welcome to the show. Ooh, I think you're muted. You probably should unmute you. Hey, there we go. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. All right, so we're talking about renovating your home to sell for maximum value. Then we're yeah. going to get back to the um, ADU uh, DADU conversations. Sure, 100%. Um, so kind of share with me your background in construction and real estate. Oh, yeah. So actually, I've grown up in construction and owning new company, uh, owning construction companies, anywhere from new construction all the way to remodel. And I currently own three different companies. Uh, they all have different focuses, but they're all in the construction field. And the one that we'll be talking about today is called REUP. Uh, which REUP is a a nationwide company that helps sellers get the maximum value out of their home with no money up front out of their pocket. So what inspired uh, you to start that company? Well, so I didn't start the company, but I bought into the franchise and it really because it it aligned well with my wife's nice vision for the future of our life. Uh, Someday we want to have a a nonprofit organization where we help those uh, elderly or single moms or someone of that nature um, who owns a home that needs to be remodeled but doesn't have the money to remodel it. We want to come in and handle that remodel for free through like a nonprofit. So when this opportunity came to us and we realized, wow, this this is one of the first business opportunities that we've come across in the real estate world where everybody wins. The mm-hmm. seller wins, the seller's agent wins, the buyer wins, the buyer agent wins, and then we win, the community wins. Like it's a, it's an incredible product that really helps out people. Yeah, I like that. Uh, win-win solutions is very important to me too. So that's awesome. Um, so what hurdles um, are you facing in establishing uh, Reup West Coast? It's honestly, it's just educating people because it is one of those situations where it does almost feel like it's too good to be true. A lot of people are like, well, wait a minute, I could really do this. You mean I just give you the keys to my home. You're going to come in and finance the remodel, handle the remodel, manage the remodel and help me sell this for more money. And I don't have to pay you a penny up front. It's, it's just uh, it's overcoming that hurdle and helping people understand that. Yeah, this we just we just did it. We just helped a couple. They made thirty six thousand more dollars in their pocket and in a matter of nine weeks. And yeah. We did um, I think, Jeremy, you and I have met maybe two months ago, I think. We've kind of been chatting. I've been throwing some deals your way and trying to see if they work. And and one thing that stands out to me as I talked through the process with Jeremy and, and on one of the deals is uh, I had somebody approach me kind of at the 11th hour. They were about to sell their house to a contractor uh, that, that was going to help them get cash quick. They just needed to sell. Um, and I said, wait, wait, wait. Before you do that, let me look at what they are proposing. And yeah. unfortunately, I was introduced too late to this thing. They signed the paperwork and it became a, a, a six week nightmare for them. Um, and guess who won is the winner was the contractor. The contractor, yeah. made the bulk of the cash, yeah. they made what they made off selling it quick. But yeah. all that improvement that, that, that your company would bring to the table they got zero, zero benefit. And, and, uh, and yeah, the guy, we see that a lot. We, the guy we raised that it. A lot. it was horrible. You know, you know, one of the unique aspects that we bring to the table that a lot of people don't is once we set that construction budget, it's, it's set. There's no change orders. There's nothing. So like we're currently doing a project here in town where we thought the deck just needed some minor repair ended up, we t- took the whole deck apart. It actually had to be completely redone and we had to build a brand new deck. And we covered that out of our pocket and it did not co- increase the cost to the homeowner or to the seller. So it actually would be taken away from their, uh, from their profit. And so, you know, that's where we kind of work in really hard on protecting 
our clients and helping our clients is just being like, hey, we're going to set this budget and we're going to stay on this budget. And you know, this is how much it's going to cost you no matter what we come what we come across. What uh, what drives your passion in construction and real estate? Oh, man, um, I, I love seeing old become new and I love creating things. And uh, but man, with this product, it really is just helping people. Uh, you know, we just got like I said, one of the projects we completed was a uh, Literally, the husband, uh, the wife was due, and he was trying to figure out how he was going to move into his new house, remodel his current house, run his business, and have a brand new baby. You know, we were able to help them out, like I said, and they made about $36,000 more out of their pocket. Another house we're working on right now was an elderly lady um, who has bad arthritis. So we paid for all the pods, we paid for the movers, we helped her move into her new place, and now we're remodeling this home so that she could actually take the equity out of this home and put it and use it towards her retirement and not necessarily having to give that away to an investor that would come in and lowball her because that's just was the condition of her home. So you included in the in the bid for repairs the the cost to move her into her future place. Yeah, and actually it wasn't necessarily in the remodel budget, but mm -hmm. we fronted that money that we will take from the at, at closing cost. Oh, okay. Uh, again, that closing cost or the remodel budget is fixed. And yeah. then we went, okay, how much money are you going to need to move? How much money are you going to need to do all these different things? And so that's what we uh, came in and did. That'll come out of the closing cost at the end. Got it. So, so basically problem solving, right? I, yeah. I know that I know that I've done this myself where it's, it's kind of tough because cash flow for me, I take money out of my own pocket and I'm going to spend it for X, Y, or Z. Uh, maybe it's a paint job. Maybe it's carpet replacement, something like that, that we get paid back. That's something that you guys can yeah. do. It's not, there, there's a difference between the construction budget and then, and then the yeah. things that, yeah, the, yeah, that are through the organization. Okay, cool. We can even help people who are in pre foreclosure. We'll get them out of, if there's enough equity in their home after the remodel, we'll get them out of pre foreclosure. So we save their credit and we help them make money at the end of it. So what would you say, as you look at, there are people that have rejected your guys' offers um, mm -hmm. and ones that have accepted it. What yeah. is the, what's the common theme of those that have said, oh, this is right for us? Um, it's them being able to understand the process and the system of how much money we can make um, for them. You know, and um, and again, the biggest hurdle that we're having right is just educating people that this is something that's not only done in the Northwest. This is a nationwide company that's seeing success, that's growing like crazy. That whole mission was designed around helping people. So we really do want to help you. We're not here to mess people over or, or take your money. Uh, some of our competitors don't have that fixed construction cost, and then they come back and they change order you, and you thought you were going to make forty thousand. Next thing you know, you're making twenty or ten. Uh, some of them are actually in massive lawsuits because of that. And so, and again, we really want to protect that seller, and so that's how we do that. So, are are sellers paying interest on loans while you guys are doing these work? This work? Nope, we do not. It does not cost them anything. So, if I say I come in and say it's a hundred thousand dollar remodel, it's a hundred thousand dollars. We're not charging you interest for that money, and if it sells in three months great if it sells in nine months it's still a hundred thousand dollars we're not charging the interest on that so then again how do you guys get paid so when we get paid is so let's let's say you brought me a home and we'll use small numbers just to make the math easy right and it's worth four hundred thousand and we come in and we do a hundred thousand dollar remodel that means we're all in at five hundred thousand with the current the original value of the home and then the hundred thousand dollars that we put into it right and then let's say you as the realtor come in and you sell it for six hundred thousand so there's a hundred thousand dollars difference in the upswing, right? So we take 50% of that and that's how we make our money. And then the seller takes 50% of it and that's how they make their money. So in this scenario, just for giving us the keys to your home, we just made you $50,000 and it costs you nothing. Gotcha. Gotcha. So essentially it's, it's, ba it's based off a, um, a 50, 50 split of the proceeds after yeah. you get your cost of, of work done. And yeah. all of that stuff is done prior, like that knowledge, exactly what that number is is yep. done before you pull one yep. hammer out basically yep yep and you know it really positions the seller from a position of maybe i have to sell my home for less to an investor or have to give concessions at closing or whatever into a place and now they're actually a part of being an investor they're actually be able allowing us to come in and help them elevate that value and their position is that they're now an investor in their home and then they get to take benefit of the profit of that because their asset that they're bringing to the table is the home and we're bringing the money and the team to actually remodel that home for them. Yeah, let's talk a little bit more about the team. So what what uh, what does your team look like and how do they approach a project? 
As far as the construction process side yeah. of it? Yeah. So we have construction managers and we have project managers that work and um, with the team, we have estimators. Um, right now, a lot of the estimating that we're doing. So the cool thing is between our main construction manager, our main project manager and myself, we've done over 350 remodels and flips for the real estate world. So we're really adverse in it. We really understand what it takes and what it means to, to get the project done. And so, um, you know, that's, that's our team, I guess. And then the construct, obviously any subcontractors, any employees, and, and every area is a little bit different. Um, like if you're in Idaho, we have all of our construction teams here is actually our company doing the remodel. If you're in Washington, we have a project manager over there. Um, we'll be managing from a far as construction side and we'll be u- utilizing subcontractors. Okay. Awesome. Um, let's see, uh, anything else? Oh, we, so we talked earlier in the show about DADUs and ADUs. Yep. Is this uh-huh. something we can utilize your services for? A hundred percent we can, we can, you know, like if you look at the example where you were talking about you know, you said where it's originally valued at 640000 Again, so to remodel the original home, we can handle that remodel uh, and make sure that's done. And then when it comes to the ADUs, we will, as long as the, the profit line makes sense and the margins make sense, we will um, pay for and build the ADU for you so that you could sell it at those, the different market. You said 800 I think, 500 and 500. 500, 500. Yeah, 800, yeah. 500. Yep, yeah. yep. And so we can come in and actually finance the remodel, finance the ADU new build, and manage all of that and, and construct all of that so that you could just go on market and sell it. Awesome. All right. Well, how do people get a hold of you, Jeremy? Uh, the best way is my phone number, which is 208-420-3313. Uh, they can find us on um, Instagram under Reup West Coast. Um, they can find me on Facebook under Jeremy Morgado. Uh, we're also on Facebook as well as Re-Up West Coast. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, Ben. I really appreciate being a part of it. Thank you. Yes, you bet. All right.